Good morning, everybody. I'm here in Ahmed, Bali, Indonesia, and it's a beautiful place that's about two hours and 45 minutes up north from Changu, where I live. Um, I'm about to get breakfast, but I wanted to show you guys what my room looks like. I got it for 350 Indonesian, 350,000 Indonesian rupiah, and that's about 23 US dollars. Um, so I'm gonna show you what about $20 gets you here. But now I got stuck in my room, <laughs> out of my room, <laughs> and then he's gonna help me. <laughs> he has a fork. Okay, so basically if you leave the key inside the lock um, from the inside, it will lock you outside. So he's using a fork to pull down the metal bar that's closing the door. Hey. He's calling for help. <laughs> Okay, um, so I'll show you guys exactly what happened. Um, the key's inside, and if you just close the door, the metal will automatically lock. So you have to open this metal rod up here, and this metal rod there down so the whole two doors can open. Oh, <laughs> and we have assistance. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, that will not happen again. I will take the key. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I will leave it unlocked. <laughs> See you. Voila. And so 350k a night, uh, about 23 US dollars. It's in this cute little wooden cabin. And you have the mosquito net. It feels like a little princess. And you have your closet, you hang your clothes, a full body mirror, really nice. What's up? And then you have an outdoor shower the leaves hanging over you and the cool thing is that this shower the water comes out of this pot so it's like you're getting watered like a plant and then just toilet bum gun Let's see okay kind of not the strongest bum gun but yeah it gets the job done <laughs> cool yep and then air conditioning of course okay so that actually took a while i hope i'm not too late for breakfast so i'm gonna take you guys along with me and i'll show you guys what the restaurant area looks like and what the food looks like here's where i'm staying really cool right and it's just surrounded by all these pretty flowers and here's the pathway we're gonna head over to the kitchen area. Good morning, Buggy. I'm good, just gonna get uh, breakfast now. So the breakfast is included, which is really awesome for 350K. That's a great deal. Okay, let's see if there's anyone here. <gasps> Look how gorgeous this place is. <sighs> Okay, so we gotta take out okay. our slippers. We need to open. Are you sure? Because I'm not clean yet. You're not cleaning? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Because, uh, we will have a uh, cooking class today. <gasps> Ooh, cooking class. Yeah. Ooh. So we have 12 person cooking class. That's why we still preparing now. Oh, cool. How much is a cooking class? Cooking class is vegetarian, 300,000. 300K for vegetarian yeah. food. That's really yeah. cool. Vegetarian food is like, we've not used the MSG. Oh. This is organic. 
Wow. Like lemon grass, lemon leaf, everything is from our garden. Wow, that's yeah. great. <laughs> how long is the cooking class? Depends. How oh, fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what time does it start? I'm starting 12.30 today. <gasps> that's cool. Okay. With the group, we're 12 person. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If you want, we can do it uh, like one person with one each other, maybe the next day. Not today, tomorrow maybe. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, yeah. cool. Thanks because so much. Because then with many person, and if you are not friend, it's not good. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> we can do it like you and me. We make a cooking class, and you can also make a video. Wow. That's okay, no that sounds really cool. <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? Um, do you have the menu I can yeah. choose? Yeah. Makasi. Yeah. Putu, yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Putu. Welcome. Okay, so... Um, this is the menu guys so you can get banana pancake pineapple pancake omelette with toast toast butter and jam scrambled egg and toast fried egg and toast fresh fruit salad coffee juice so I'm gonna go for ooh, omelette with toast coffee and fresh fruit. I'm not exactly sure if you're supposed to pick one item, but let's find out. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. So, um, could I get coffee? Coffee Balinese? Balinese coffee? Yeah, can it be iced coffee? Yes. And then, um, so I can choose just one? Or can I, can I make it like omelette with omelet toast with and toast. jam? And some fresh fruit? Sorry? Uh, omelette with toast and jam. Mm -mm. Is it possible to get uh, like pineapple pancake and fruit salad? Pineapple as well? pancake. And then fresh fruit fresh salad. Fresh fruit salad. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, your drink? Uh, iced coffee. Iced coffee. Okay. Yeah. Uh, repeat your order, yes. Okay. Omelette with toast, uh, pineapple pancake, uh, fruit, fresh fruit salad, and uh, iced coffee. Yes. Thank you so much. You. <laughs> I was able to get everything. Ah! Oh, this is gonna be delicious, and I can't wait to show you guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how gorgeous this restaurant is that's connected to the spot that I'm staying at at Ahmed. So, wow, guys. Look at that. Over here, you have these wooden Buddhas, which is really cool. That. And this one in color, super cool. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And then the spacious, spacious area. Nobody's here. Just me! And these colorful, comfy beanbag chairs. And the best part is this gorgeous view of Ahmed Sunset Point. Oh my god! <laughs> not sure if my camera can bring justice to what I'm seeing right now but I'm really glad that the weather is good usually it rains a lot here in Ahmed but the sky is clear you can see the mountain over there oh, and the flowers everything everything is so pretty here and then just like the nice sound of the waterfall not sure if you guys can see but where it says you are here at Sunset Point, right behind it is this beautiful pool that's overlooking the ocean over there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm pretty much gonna eat over here <laughs> just so I can stare at the beauty. First day in Ahmed. 
and I love it. Breakfast is here. So here is the fruit salad, dragon fruit, bananas, the toast, butter and jam, and this omelet looks delicious with iced Balinese coffee. Salamat makan! <laughs> So I finished my food and I couldn't help but just really appreciate how slow paced things are moving right now. I mean, I just felt like I was just staring off into space and kind of <laughs> zoning out in my own world and just looking at the stillness of everything and nature and just appreciating how slow everything's been going um, and I couldn't help but think that has something to do with the feminine side of travel so before when I used to travel with the guy um, it was very fast-paced I traveled to I would say eight countries in eight months it was like India Myanmar Nepal Thailand Laos Cambodia Vietnam Philippines and it was just like one after the other and don't get me wrong those are all amazing and there's actually nothing wrong with going fast or slow but I do believe traveling fast paced and going to more uh, places and not kind of settling is more on the masculine side and feminine kind of just wants to be safe settled and secure and that's why as I started traveling solo traveling alone there's a lot of cars in Bali uh, I found myself staying here for two years and I don't plan on leaving anytime soon um, and mainly it's because I don't know I think females are kind of intuitive and we like to kind of embrace where we are we don't have that anxiety to keep moving well maybe I do I'm an exception I like to move around but yeah I just couldn't help why I stayed so long in one place and I do think um, it has something to do with the feminine because I hear stories too of um, you know when a girl's with a boyfriend they've traveled like everywhere all these places and when she's single or we're hanging out it's like ah we're just chilling and appreciating one spot living in the same neighborhood getting a, a yearly rental instead of moving around once a month so yeah maybe i'm wrong about that or maybe there is no wrong or right but i kind of believe that there is a more of a masculine and feminine side to travel so um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments I'm curious so yeah that was just a little whatever word salad so peace